Blades. There's Donato, we got quite a few dramatic games for you on tap. Relax, sit back and enjoy. This is your Dell KHL update. We travel to Yaroslavl first for Locomotive take on Torpedo. It promises to be a close game and it is. Nine minutes into it, Torpedo get on the board. They win a face up in the offensive territory and Dennis Baranzov sends it past Tila Tinevalov with a quick shot. Torpedo doubles their lead seven minutes into the second frame. That is partially as his fifth of the year on a delay penalty call. A few minutes later, Loco get it back. Alexander Kutuzov dangles his way down the right wing past to see Igor Averin and Averin puts it home. Loco get back even before the intermission. Brandon Colson gains speed in the neutral zone, gets the puck at the blue line, digs to his right and hits the twine. This one is at twos now. Eight minutes into the third period, Loco grabs the lead a moment after Torpedo kill up a penalty. Colson puts it on net from the point and it goes in of Daniela Palkov. Nine seconds of regulation now, Torpedo are out there with the extra attacker and they get the equalizer. And Demile ties it up with just 8 seconds remaining on the clock. Overtime solves nothing, so it goes to the shootout. Torpedo can beat Kinevalov even once while Patrick Antio and Nikolai Kovalenko score for Loco. The Beasters escape a loss in regulation but still fall short in the shootout. Locomotive take it 4 3 in Hall Mice. Next on the menu, Cherry Pavets. We're here to see Severstal face Nefta Kimek. The Wolves strike four and a half minutes in. The Mirchur Zianov finds his target with a long shot off the wall. Late in the second period, Nefta Kimek improves the lead to 2 0. Emil Galimov scores his second of the season, while Pavel Padakin registers his first point for the Wolves. 37 seconds into the third period, Nefty Kimmich make it 3 0 with a power play marker. Andre Nestor Show sends it in from the right circle. And that's when the tables turn. Less than a minute later, Daniil Bobchenko restores it to goal gap with a nice wrister. Buck 11 later, Alek Yashin wins the face up cleanly, and Dennis Kulash hammers it home for a power play goal. That's his first of the year, too. A minute and 14 seconds after that, Severstal have a two-man advantage and their special team is up for the task again. Konstantin Karnev sets up Valery Vasilev for a huge one-timer and the game is tied at threes. It goes to overtime and 65 seconds into it, Yevtikimik ends it. Jonas Natinen curls away from his defenseman, skates to the slot from the right wing and roofs it for his picks of the season. Game over. Severstal raise a three-goal deficit in the third period but still end up on the losing side. 4-3 Nefty Kimmich Overtime Final. And now to Moscow, where Spartak do battle with Dynamo Minsk. And it's the Beasters who opened up the scoring. Seven and a half minutes into the game, Evgeny Lysavet takes a shot from the point, and Andrika Stitsin takes it home. It's a powerful goal, and Dynamo lead 1 0. Midway for the period, Spartak bring you back to even. Anatoly Nikonsev tucks it home from the slot for his course of the year. After the second period, the red and white get a power play goal of their own to grab the lead. Oscar's Dow got his backhand at home from the hash marks. A few minutes later, Dmitry Bujnitsky streaks down the left wing, feeds Sergei Kastitsin at the far post, and Sergei taps it in. But it's waved off of the video review. The play was offside. No matter, Dynamo is still level it before the intermission. Winston Howden makes a long pass to Timo Fulkinen, who passes it in front to Denis Kizyanov, and it's in the back of the net. It's a 2 2 tie of 40. Four minutes into the third frame, Andrei Kostitsin puts Dynamo back in the lead. Ikeno Savets puts the puck on net, and Andrei keeps it past Ulysses Hulichik for his second of the game. Spartak make it a 3 3 hockey game five minutes later. Marcus Carson makes himself available in front of the net, gets the puck, and starts the third of the season. We're going to overtime. Extra period lasts just 17 seconds. Maxim Gintarov finds wide open Alex Kokochev in the slot, and Koko ends it. Spartak beats Dynamo Minsk for the third consecutive time, and Home Ice has to take it 4 3 in overtime. Are still in Moscow, but in the northern part of it, where Dynamo meet Ogbars. Vladimir Kukanov makes his return as Dynamo head coach in this one. First period, Dynamo have an extra skater out due to the left bouncicle, and they come really close to putting it in. They bang it off the irons a few times, but it just won't go in. 
They do get it over the goal line early in the second period. It comes in a power play. Nick Kapoidis has got his first career KHL goal with a shot from the point. But just two minutes later, Akbar is bringing him back to square one. He was a hit in and attempts to clear the puck from his defensive end, but he hits Evgeny Mazur in the head and the puck never leaves the zone. Teddy Zarypov wins the battle for it and beats Ivan Bacharov for his 400th career KHL goal. Game winning marker comes midway through the third period. Alexander Pormistrov sets up Paul Posma at the point and Posma one times at home. That's gonna do it. Dynamo lose their fifth consecutive game even with Kukin off at the helm. 2 1, Akbars is your final. We go to Sochi for our last game of the day. Local Leopard stick on the mighty SKA St. Petersburg. He doesn't take the beers this long to get on the board. Just 66 seconds into the game, Nikita Gusev has his fifth of the year off a great assist by Vital Datsuk. A few minutes later, Sochi get a fast eager to Turkey, but the goal is waved off at the video review. The play was actually offside. A little later, Sergei Shmilov comes really close to tying it up, but he hits the post from inside, and then the putt slides just a few inches wide of the net. Just Turkey still sees his shutout streak come to an end before the intermission. The Bob Stark box for the second of the year, and it's a 1 1 hockey game after 20 minutes of play. But then FKA scored twice in the second, and that proves to be the difference. First, Nikita Gusev makes a cross ice pass to Alexander Borobata, who scores his second of the year. And a few minutes later, Alexei Bavaltsev gets his first mark in SKA jersey as he keeps pocket curse shot. That's more than enough. SKA get two points on the road and climb on top of the Western Conference. 3 1 is your final. And that's it for your LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for six more games, including Amor Up on the list and Avangard vs. Dynamo Riga. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.